Hi guys, it's Edis here and I am back. I know I've been gone for a little bit, um, but I am back and trying to get my life together. I've had some health issues, um, but I have been trying to get a little bit creative like I used to in the past. So today join me to look through my updated planner. Um, because I've been distracted and I've had health issues and you know, life happens. I haven't been really putting love or use to my beautiful baby girl here. Um, so we're going to appreciate her more this year. And I want to show you guys what I did to update her so that she will be useful to me. Um, so yeah, let's get our life together. Um, you know, pour open a soda or an iced coffee, whatever you want. And today we're going to go through my planner. Um, I did stop the my cloth and paper subscription though because I just have so many things so many stationaries so many stickers so I I think I have what I need right now um and I am trying to get my finances together um so you will see a lot of cloth and paper things here that I purchased from previous hauls and the last box that I got I believe was January 2024 um, so you'll see some of the things from there. Um, but yeah, I have I have stopped cloth and paper subscription. Um, but I miss it dearly. And hopefully, because I'm using her a lot, I could pick it back up. Um, but yeah, this is a planner from my roadmap. I got this from Etsy. It's a uh, fake leather or faux leather. Um, and she's like a beautiful like milk chocolate taupe color. Um, and yeah, let's let's look at her. So I do like the texture. I think it's awesome. Um, I do, like I said, my goal is to use her every day. So I want to be sitting here at this desk. I want her to come with me when needed. Um, but yeah, I want to use this planner every day. So I have to, like, kind of, I need your help to think about how I can get to use this every day because I already did my planning for the month. I just need to find something for the weekly planner, but we'll get there when we get there. So she does have a snap closure. And when you open her up, um, she looks like this. Um, on the left side, I have a key, which I have not filled out yet, but I will shortly. I also have my name or my initials embossed here with an Ollie clip. And then in the January um, cloth and paper box, I got this beautiful bucket list thing that says when it's all said and done well you have said more than you have done which i think is so awesome because i'm trying to be more i don't know i feel like trying to be more adventurous in the sense that i want to travel more and i want to get more things done um and be like happy like if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i want to travel and and that's what makes me happy so i have there to think about like okay like what am i going to do this month what am like i have something planned for every month and i'm trying to like stick to it um i have this like really nice like quote about when moments are tough which is really inspirational and i'm glad i have that from cloth and paper i have this online like stencil from casa vici um gen plants um, and these are circles and squares, which are fun. I have this like clear credit card type thing with some neutral washi tape. The washi tape is from Etsy and the clear card are from, or the clear cards are from Etsy and these are for page flags. Um, and here I have a folder that says to keep, which is also from cloth and paper. And then in here I have my day off stickers. These are the ones I use all the time. I have some shape stickers in the color Verona and I have some like email and other like weekend or week stickers. I try not to put too much in my planner that I'm not going to use. So those are the things that I probably use the most and that's why they're in that little pocket. And then I have this which is also from cloth and paper. I don't know which month. I want to say December where you like write your word of the year. I don't know what that word is yet, but it will be filled out. I'm thinking it's something with like adventure um, or like a quote that I could put. Like I go to seek a great, great perhaps, which is my favorite quote. Or Zephyr, which is my favorite word. I'm not sure yet. Then I have this vellum dashboard that says, I saw my life was a vast glowing empty page and I could do anything I wanted. Um, I love that. And then this one is... 
more like with the travel adventurous thing these are all the places i've been or at least like my most recent or my favorite places so you'll see like i have some paris I, this is when i went to paris france um madrid spain um this is new york i'm from new york but these are like my favorite places or beautiful places um this is my favorite sushi restaurant called nami nori and they are gluten free and vegan um some they have vegan options um when i went to the moma this is chelsea market which is a really fun place to go in if you're ever in new york city my jeep platform reading and crystals things that be make me happy pretty much which are traveling um food my jeep converse i love converse and crystals and reading um all right this planner belongs to and then we have some page flags i have two square flags and two regular page flags um and actually behind here i have another one these are all these three are from cloth and paper this one's from plan and stow and the bottom one is from casa Vici. nude 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 and this one is called olat i think it's like something milk i believe i don't know actually don't quote me on that and this is all from cloth and paper then i have the year at a glance for 2024 in vellum and i actually really like how this turned out because i normally do use the cloth and paper square like transparent circles and i think it looks really good on the vellum um and i just have important dates here i have this day which is coming up which is april 20th i'm gonna go to seattle which i'm very excited about june this is my last day of work before summer break which is in july and august which i'm very grateful for um july this is my nephew's disney world trip which i'm very excited about as well i do plan on traveling in august and maybe october um i just don't know what those plans are yet and then my birthday which is december it's a big birthday it's, i'm gonna be 29 i can't believe it okay then you can see the tabs here i made these tabs with clear um paper from dymo i believe i'll show you guys let's see if i can reach it over without dropping anything um this is the label maker that i use and i use the clear plastic one which looks like that and these are the tabs that i have i have monthly weekly meal prep budget passwords and notebooks or notes i'm sorry um and then as you can see there's a pen loop as well here the pen of my choice right now is the signo uniball ultra micro um but yeah this is the monthly and i make these labels with the dymo handheld like label maker i don't know what that was called um okay so my monthly plan these inserts are from etsy um, and then, yeah, this is like, it's a lot right now, but I basically write down any future trips, any, any place that I'm going to, anything I'm doing that day for my personal life. I do have the ELA state exam for New York, just because those two days are a little bit different than my normal days. So like I could do like more chill things and actually I'm going to go see Shrek the second for the anniversary. I think it's like the... 15th of the 20th anniversary which is insane and then i have the the um the silver washi tape for breaks so i was actually off from work for a week because i was sick and i ended up in the hospital unfortunately but i'm okay don't worry guys um i have my niece's birthday party i have um a retreat the solar eclipse i have a day off bills when i get paid ideas for spring break because my spring break is coming up like i'm pro probably i'm gonna be on vacation on this like day i'm gonna come back on this day so i was thinking maybe to have like a little city day when i go to the city um and do stuff maybe the movies because i have a regal thing um and then these are some other ideas that i was thinking about doing on that day my favorite restaurant that i mentioned earlier with a little sushi sticker i actually really love these square ones because they fit perfectly so that's really fun and i could move it so this is a question mark so let's just say and i don't know it's this day instead i can i can move these things which i really like um i use an ollie clip these are from etsy as well 
Um, but yeah, these stars are for the movies because I have, like I mentioned previously, a regal pass. So I sh to make my to get my money's worth, I should be going to the movies at least twice a week or twice a month, I should say. So I'm like planning those things out um, as well. I have a day off one day and yeah it looks crazy but i like to just like see it in a month and like i said this is mostly if not all for like my personal life um and then i have a weekly plan this is where i kind of need your help guys because i don't know what to use my weekly for um like i have like to do and things i want to do but i want to be able to like touch this planner every day and I feel like the weekly is going to be where I do that the most so I have to like I I consider writing down events things to do I just don't know yet what that looks like so right now I just have basic things in here like organizing my room and like if I do that like I'll like cross it off or whatever but it's like I said for personal things so I want to make sure I I write makes sense and I have some like extra sticky notes and like I said everything's from cloth and paper these inserts are from Etsy though the next thing I have is meal prep which I am currently vegan and gluten free I've been vegan um for like about eight years meat free for about 10 coming up this actually oh my god that's what I needed to add on to this hold on on the 13th, right here, it's a Saturday, I have my anniversary, 10th year anniversary for being meat free. Which, I, which sounds insane that I've been meat free for 10 years. Because I started my journey as a vegetarian for two years, so that's insane. I don't know, I should probably do something that day. Anyways, um, yeah, so meal prepping here. So yeah, I'm vegan gluten free. So I, I have a very limited options around my area, like my vicinity that I could eat. It's mostly Chipotle, which I actually love. Um, but I wish I had Chipotle today, actually. <laughs> but um, I meal prep my breakfast lunch and snacks i usually have about two snacks maybe three snacks a day and a breakfast and lunch i don't have dinner that much and these are my like places i have to go to like ten thousand places to get all the food that i need to meal prep and stuff so that's why i need to plan it out and these meal plans are from crossbow crossbow planner co which is the same place that makes my monthly and weekly inserts then my next thing is budgeting. I'm not going to show too much of my budget. I'll just show like a blank one for now. Um, so I have like in this area, I keep like my bills like on like, on, like a monthly view. Um, and then I put like a sticker that is like so adorable. I've had this for years. I got it from Michael's like years ago on sale. Where's, where is it? Let me look at this. Let me look for the stickers. Oh, here it is. It's from Wonton in a Million. And there's like these little cute... All of these are budgeting things. Um, but I'm using these like no spend money um, stickers. So that I can like keep track of when I don't spend. Which is my goal at this moment. Um, but these are all like budget stickers. Which I really, really enjoy. So I'm happy about those. Um, and then I put like my income here and then the expenses. I'm still trying to make this work because I really do want to like budget and kind of keep track of what I spend and become debt free, which is really important to me. Um, so I've been doing that. And then I have like some inserts that I created, I think with fresh air and I write down everything that I spend my money on and things like that. Um, which has been less and less lately because I feel like I, I'm content with what I have, you know? Anyways, 
Um, so yeah, that's why those in, these inserts I actually don't know where they're from, but they are different than crossbow. So, but they're still from Etsy, so you can find them. Then I have this password category. I don't really think I need this to be quite honest with you. Um, but I don't know what else, like, I don't know what would replace it. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Maybe I could do like a gratitude journal or maybe like a travel journal would be maybe cool. I'm not sure, but I don't really need passwords to be safe so I have it on my phone. But for now, that's what I have. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all I can say this is these are the inserts these are also from crossbow planner um yeah I don't really need this to be honest um and then I have my notes which I just put in this insert that has to do with like traveling which I think it's really nice from cloth and paper um and then I have like my wish list here and I cross it off as I as I kept them and these this um highlighter is this the mild liner in brown um which is like very nice i love it and then on the back i have like my bucket list which i'm not going to show just yet because you know keep it close um these papers actually or these inserts i should say are the i have the name on the back here the column note taking which i actually really like and then I have just regular paper. This, these are from Amazon. I love these dotted sheets. And then I just opened up these journey jotters from cloth and paper. I'm just going to keep them in here to see if I like it. I might plan my Seattle trip on this, um, but I don't know yet when that's going to happen. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. And then I have this little insert that says, and just a reminder, big things are born of small thoughts and plans. When you write things down, you enter a world of possibility. I like that. And then my pen loop is here. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm looking for, um, and by the way, it's trained to sit nice and flat. I'm so happy about that. But yeah, I'm looking for things to use this planner for every day um i'm what i really use and i see like a purpose of using every day is to check in on my monthly my meal prep and my budget um notes there's not much i can write right now passwords not really necessary but i you know i have it there um and the weekly, that's really what I want to like find something to do. Maybe I could do like a gratitude journal prompt. Maybe that would be kind of cool. Or a to-do list. Or both. What do we think about that? I think so. But yeah, that's what I have right now. And I love it. I have also a little tiger's eye charm that matches my tattoo. My tattoo looks just like this. And Tiger's Eye is a stone for strength, protection, and luck. So I like to keep that really nice in there. Um, but yeah, that's like what I have in my planner. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to, I think I just convinced myself to make this kind of like a journal prompt area that I can just answer a quick question instead of making it like a replica maybe a to-do journal area or maybe both I'm not sure let me know what you guys think but yeah that's basically what I have in my planner um let me know if you have any ideas on what to do and I will see you guys later bye